What's going on? Once again, you guys, it is Sombra del Piso back once again with yet another video. It is the 1st of May, and we all know what that means. It is time for the seventh episode of Piso's Perceptions, Perceptions de Piso. Cha cha, cha cha, cha cha, cha cha. So today, uh, it is the seventh, like I said. You know, they hollow this number in the Bible. So it clearly has to be some important number. So we decided to uh, go somewhere that's important to us. This place, we have in, uh, this is Tom Ford's store, right? Uh, Tom Ford, one of the uh, most legendary fashion designers of our time. Not a lot of people know about him. They only know about his, his store, right? And his stuff being incredibly expensive, but don't really know what, how he lent to fashion. Because of this guy, I mean, well, fashion's a sort, of, sort of messed up. It's become just as much as a, of a, a thing to absorb money out of clients as with anything, uh, any business. But basically, uh, what this guy did is he rejuvenated, Gucci was gonna go bankrupt, and due to his creative expertise, super, super modish uh, advertisements, all that stuff, designs, clothes designs, uh, pricing points and everything, he revitalized Gucci. Um, he created a conglomerate for the house as well, which included uh, L'Envon, I believe, and um, Balenciaga once upon a time, right? Uh, and of course, he was voted out, him and his uh, Dominico de Sol, which was his business partner at the time. And they were voted out, and the entire group, his, his project, his baby, was uh, taken over. So, um, yeah, now he then, went off to do something like this, and then he sold this place. He sold, not this place, but he sold the business to Estee Lauder. Why was he one of my role models? Because this guy is a genius. This dude is incredibly smart. He's gay, but like, I'm not gay, but I don't care about that stuff. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, I don't care about that stuff. It's just that if you're talented, you're talented. And if you're real, you're real. I think Carl Lagerfeld hated hey, this guy, right? Uh, the, the guy that passed away, that used to uh, run the Chanel house that was given to him by Chanel herself. Doesn't even matter, all that stuff doesn't matter. What matters is we're in front of this place right now because once upon a time, Tom Ford used to mean so much to me, right? It still does. Um, in college, it meant so much to me. And it still does to a certain degree, but uh, not, not too much. But anyway, let's get right into it. We already wasted time. Let's talk about employment, let's talk about mental health, let's talk about semen retention, let's talk about relationships, all that stuff is gonna happen right now in Pisos Perceptions, chapter seven. So like, comment, subscribe, please, and let's get right into it. Let's talk about employment. Of course, let's begin with employment. If we don't start off with employment, then this is not a Pisos Perceptions. Let's, uh, let's talk about employment. What's going on in employment? Um, I'm still working at this place, two months in, naturally, because uh, last month, in the last Pisos Perception installment, um, I was a month in, so naturally, a month later, I would be two months in the job, given I didn't lose it to, in some nefarious way or uh, just lose it, losing it at all. We're not making a lot of money at this place, really. I think that's like the, the, the punishment of the talented, right? The punishment of the ascended, right? The talented, I think they're fine, right? Because they're, they're not necessarily ascended. That's just direct gifts. They didn't work for their gifts. They were just given their gifts, right? As gifts are. But the ascended, or the people that actually chased, that worked hard to develop this uh, this mindset, right? They never get sort of rewarded, you know. Um, so I think it's our it's our lot in life to just sort of suffer financially, uh, physically, spiritually, of course, because all uh, spiritual ascension is uh, painful. So anyway, um, working is working as well. It was going okay, you know. We're networking. We're doing pretty well. Um, whatever happens, happens. Honestly. Um, we do have another city job interview that's gonna happen, that possibly will happen. They just have to sort of call us back. We did all the prerequisites, right? We sent our uh, resume in. They asked us about our availability, all that stuff. So we did that, we sent that stuff in. So now we have to wait until we get a call back. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I'm at a point where, you know, I've just, I haven't really sat down and uh, let, whatever happened, happened. But I've just, I realized that I can only put so much effort into something and by, with, with months and months, with years of getting tepid, lame results, I just like, you know, I'll just try it. I'll put my best foot in, but you know, whatever happens, happens. 
So we're gonna see what happens. They're supposed to uh, message us or give us an email like uh, at the end of this week. So we got like two days. But I'm really not expecting any response back. I think it's just another red herring. Another red herring. So again, at least we're employed, but we are still poor, right? So that's that's what's going on with uh, with Somer del Piso. Let's talk about uh, relationships. Relationships is always a nice one. Um, is Somer del Piso in a relationship? Absolutely not. <laughs> it was a test, you fools. You're not even supposed to wonder about the answer to that question because if you've been following me, you should know that we're not chasing such pointless things. What we're doing is we're ascending. We're trying to ascend spiritually. Ascended souls are not supposed to be in relationships. That's just, it, it can't happen. You could find someone, you could find a significant other, but it's just not gonna last very long because you're ascended. You're meant to, uh, to come here and give your gifts without any reward and um, hopefully make the world or lend to making the world a better place. You know, all, all preordained by our uh, little demiurge up there. Whatever. Uh, but we just have to sort of accept this. Um, but anyway, uh, no relationship currently. We're not looking for anyone. We haven't been dating because we don't date. We're not interested in dating. Um, we, we did, however, have to like, make it be clear to a couple of women that we've met that we're just not looking for relationships because we're, we're uh, it's not like, you know, we've given our lives to God, but essentially we have, really. We just, um, it's like what uh, Jesus was talking about in the Bible in regards to celibacy. They're the celibates, or he said eunuch. Long story short, he said there are eunuchs that are eunuchs for the sake of being eunuchs for themselves. There are eunuchs that are the sake of being eunuchs for earth, for the, for the world. And there are eunuchs that are eunuchs for the sake of the kingdom of heaven. And if there are be any in the world that can receive this mark, let them receive it. So we, we've been, <laughs> we have a Sharpie. We've been trying to mark ourselves with this mark because we ain't trying to, uh, you know, we're not trying to fall into the, um, the traditions and the, the ways of the world here. So that being said, relationships <laughs> are going well. My relationship life is going exceedingly well. The trajectory of the channel, right? I know that um, in the beginning, we talked about serum retention. We did talk a lot about ascension. We talked about secret societies and how they govern our world in very, very clandestine, secret ways, right? We have the Freemasons, right? The apron wearing, um, blood drinking individuals and whatever other uh, subsidiary groups they got, you know, going on. Burgundy wearers, 13, 12 worshipers, seven worshipers, all that crazy, silly stuff, right? Silly groups, right? That dance around, light candles, and uh, you know, crucify sacrifices still, right? We talk about all that stuff, but then on the other end, we also have lighthearted stuff where we travel around, we talk with people, you know, uh, you know we, we do like little worldly things. And the channel has sort of taken a very, very multi-angled, uh, multi-layered um, form. And I am here to say that it's gonna stay that way. We are not going to change, right, the trajectory or the idea of the channel for, for anything. This is the prerogative now. I like talking about ascension. That, that's, it gets me off. <laughs> but I ultimately like being of the world, right, and just looking at how people do things and just sort of talk how people talk and just like sort of wave like how people wave and sort of get excited at what people get excited about, right? That's part of the experience here. This is why I'm here, right? So that being said, the channel is going to continue that uh, this new trajectory, this new direction. We talk about everything now. Whatever we feel like talking about, we're gonna put out there. So that's that. Another thing, Somer del Piso is reading the Bhagavad Gita. Again, we're reading the Bhagavad Gita again. We're up to the fourth discourse, um, and we've been learning a lot of interesting stuff, uh, you know, relearning. Um, Arjuna, you know, or Madhut Sahana, right, the demon slayer, which is, uh, that's how you translate it from uh, Hindi or Hindu or uh, Sanskrit. A few of the discourses that we were, we were reading the other day, they were talking about how as an individual of the world, we have to seek uh, to do action, right? We can, don't, of course, you don't, you have to do, it has to be selfless action. You're not trying to hurt anyone. You're not trying to do things for selfish means or self-gratifying means. You have to take action, right? So um, also, it also talks about taking action. Um, look, 
I don't even know where she's going. <laughs> <¿Qué estás haciendo? laughs> What's she doing? <laughs> so we have to take action. And we have to not be interested in the fruits of what develop, right, from the actions taken. This is something that I've relearned. I think that's very interesting. I think that's very applicable currently because recently um, my views haven't been nearly as high as they used to be when I started talking about this stuff on YouTube. Very, very interesting stuff. Perhaps that is some sort of secret society t like tampering, understanding that not only I am a man of, you know, interested in the world above, right, you know, angels and uh, asuras and uh, archangels, cherubim and all that, but I am also one that's interested in like Tom Ford, right, and interested in like uh, clothes and, you know, a protein and whatnot. So um, I understand that that's a huge threat to the things that is. I think understand that's a huge problem and a huge, uh, possible issue in the future for the powers that be. So I do understand if that would be an okay, issue. Okay. <laughs> Getting attacked by a little cotton ball. I do believe that there's probably some sort of foreign tampering um, by secret societies or wh whoever their subsidiary groups are, blood drinkers, um, on my channel and the message of this channel to try to prevent it from getting out and trying to prevent me from sort of uh, accumulating a team of some sort. Mental health. How's my mental health? Uh, mental health has been solid, man. We've been doing really, really well. Um, life has been good. I've been sick recently. I'm recovering from a sick, an illness. I'm the cold. I've been solid. I've been pretty happy. I've been pretty pleased. I haven't been really angry at anything. You know, obviously we have like, uh, we've had a couple situations, of course, where I think we did a live stream the other day. Some guy tried to start a fight with us and he even called us the N-word in order to sort of evoke some response or provoke us to uh, to attack but it's just like come on man you gotta try harder than that I'm not gonna get it's not like a call to action like you know the n-word oh you're this you're this thing right like who cares like that's just a, that's just me like, I, it's, it's whatever and then I think we had uh, other situations where um, you know people just are like trying to provoke you you know I think that's what they do to uh, like people of my caliber because when you the, the trick is this, guys. I think when you are of the world, right? You're very, very of the world. You relate to people, you can talk. You're not like, uh, you don't have like anger issues for no reason, you know, like a lot of people or anxieties or whatever. But then you also preach about the world of above, you know, heavens and, you know, different religions. I think that that makes you a, a huge target. And I think that um, they'll try very, very well, the system, secret societies, they'll try very, very hard um, multi, in a multifaceted approaches to sort of destroy your energy, dim your light, and try to ultimately quell your influence. So that's cool. This is, this is all part of the game. This is all part of the battle, which I am all and geared and ready to, uh, to partake in. So that's fine. That lending to my mental health has been, you know, it's just, it's, succinctly put, it's just been another day in the life of Sombra del Piso. Let's talk about semen retention, which is the pillars of my mental health. We have not re relaxed, we have not, uh, we've not released, we have not done anything, right? We've just been retaining, we've just been maintaining, and we've just been uh, ascending, honestly. Look at this, we got some, uh, some huge suburban, a police suburban. Check it out. What's going on in there? I expect to see like a crew like the from the NCIS show you know, coming out and running inside this uh, Tom Ford. You know, the, the general manager, he's corrupt. He's a sadist. <laughs> he's a murderer. Okay. What's going on? There's no one famous in there, is there? There's no one famous in there, is there? What's that? There's no one famous in there, is there? Nobody is. Oh, you're just as important, don't worry. <laughs> just, uh, just a servant. Nah, nah. You're just as important, trust me. <laughs> That's seriously, seriously. Not a problem, sir. Well, you're important to me. I don't know if that means anything. <laughs> of course, I figured as much if you're picking up clothes from here. Um, semen retention has been going pretty well, as you can see. I mean, I've only been interested in ascending. That's really it. I don't care about anything else. Uh, relationships with the uh, society, of course, that's it's great. It's beautiful. I just feel, I feel, I just don't feel anything. 
what's not being said about this practice, this, this aspect is, is one of them. You sort of have this, not apathetic view on life, but it's just like, whatever happens, happens. I think there's this grand acceptance of just reality. Maybe it has to do with a lot of how I am as a person, which I guess is even deeper of a root of uh, the results of semen re retention than the re direct results of semen retention. But like, I honestly, I have, whatever happens, happens. I'm still like, you know, in the front seat of the car driving, you know? But ultimately, you know, if there's an accident that happens, you know, I'm gonna look at the accident, drive around the accident, continue forward on the highway, you know? I honestly haven't been chasing any relationship. I've been chasing jobs, of course, better jobs, but we all know how that's been going for the past couple years. Um, so I haven't been really interested in anything, dude, honestly. Like, that's that's really about it, really. Seriously, semen retention is good. Honestly, we do have those random, uh, how do you, what do you say, how do you say? Random bursts of inspiration, like, say, reading the Bhagavad Gita one more time, right? Um, that I definitely attribute to the practice, attribute to the practice, but besides that, you know, I've been fine. My physical health has been stellar. Of course, you know, I'm a little ill. That's only natural because there's a virus going around. My mental health has been solid. And um, I've been making friends. I, I mean, uh, dude, like nothing, nothing's changed, really. Nothing really changed. I'm like five months into this practice. We're about to make half a year being completely like celibate, no, no sex, nothing. So this is, this is actually really, really good. Personal goals for Sombra del Piso. We're gonna get to South America. We do, we really wanna get there again, right? The thing is, Right now, I get this definitely, I'm sure I'm attributing it to, attributing it, that's how you say it, right, in this regard. Um, I'm attributing this sort of changed sentiment or adjusted sentiment to semen retention. But whenever I get to South America, this is how I feel, is when I get to South America. I am no longer sort of longing to go or I'm sort of cursing my current situation because I am, I'm actually in a good situation. Like this is New York, it's like, I could uh, learn uh, construction and possibly get a job in construction if I wanted to. <clears throat> the world is endless, right, here. So I think I should accept my, my lot in life instead of longing for something different. I think that definitely, that sounds very profound. How you doing, miss? You got a nice pants. <laughs> I think this is the, 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 the aspect of acceptance. I think I've learned that, so. I think I've always had acceptance, it's just I just didn't say it on camera, right? Right now I'm enjoying New York. I'm, we're on the precipice of spring. We're about to transition into summer, which is gonna make this place look incredibly beautiful. So I'm very, very excited about that. Um, so yeah, you know, it's not like I'm in like North Sentinel Island, right? Where these guys are ripping apart foreigners, right? So, you know, it's, uh, things could have been worse. Things could have been worse. I am very interested in trying to develop a group of people that is interested in making like just this, this forward content, this, this content about ascension. Ultimately, it's, it's cool to be of the world, it's cool to like, you know, be rich, it's cool to like eat food, you know, complain about things that normal people complain about. But ultimately, I want to push forward content within the other individuals that are like-minded, that are interested in ascension and care about trying to ascend to the higher, higher frequencies, right? The higher places, the places where the goody goodies go, right? As Jack Sparrow once said. And I am interested in collaborating with individuals that are also on that, um, that wavelength. I think that eventually, like attracts like. So no matter what kind of secret society tampering that I'm uh, in the middle of, Individuals that are on the same frequency will find each other regardless of what happens, you know? And uh, that's that. So um, I think with that being said, Soma del Piso, gone. If you like that content, please like, comment, subscribe, share the video with some peers. Um, of course, like I said, the channel is uh, the trajectory is not gonna essentially change. We're still gonna talk about ascension, still gonna talk about secret societies, still gonna talk about secret retention but we're ultimately gonna talk about whatever else I wanna talk about. Like, say, uh, food, the gym, Tom Ford, 
clothes. This is what we're gonna do. So um, stay tuned and subscribe if you're interested in that. If you're not interested in that, then I guess you could continue living your life. So don't let this place get you down. This is just a you know false reality, really. It's not. It's nothing real, right? It's only here to sort of. Uh, um, Imagine this, right? This is what I was thinking the other day. Imagine, right, if life is a gift, why is it that we have some uh, apparently benevolent creator that has brought us here through the means of reproduction, through lust, which he also does not like, right? You can't feel lust because that's adultery, right? And then, as you sort of wax and wane in this world that you didn't ask to be in, you have to know, learn about the class system. You have to learn about different languages. People are not gonna like you because of a certain skin color or your creed or maybe you dress differently than the other person. Whichever there may be, right? And then you have to learn all this stuff. And then if you're, if you're not sort of poisoned by all these things already, then you have to sort of, sort of be resilient against these things because the majority of the world is discriminatory. They are prejudiced. And then you have to maintain a good moral compass lest you risk your soul descending and going in, into a worse environment. What kind of creator puts individuals in an ecosystem like this? I, this is crazy. My, the long, the tall, the short of that is this. Um, please stay solid, please stay sane, and stay radiant, and stay with a good moral compass, because this is not forever. It's not forever. And like I said, stay radiant. We'll see you guys in the next one.